new week, new opportunities. And someone asked me the other day, Shimon, you don't really like my zodiac sign, do you? I don't like any zodiac sign in general, just like I don't like people in general. But luckily, we all go deeper than the surface, and we have more to offer than just our sun sign, as everyone also has a rising sign, moon sign, let's include Mercury, Venus, Mars, all those planets, points, and asteroids, which make us into the complex being which we eventually present to the world. But it takes time to grow and develop into this being, just like it takes time for others to adjust to that new, grown, and developed being. The trait I like least about an evolved Libra is how easy it seems for them to smite down their hammer of judgment. Because it's quite easy for them to go into relationships when aspected right, and you re expect a return of your investment. Because you go in investing your patience, your energy, your time. But as time goes on and you receive nothing back, Libra is ruled by Venus, the planet of the resources, and also the feminine energy. But do not forget, Libra, like the twin the swindler, is a masculine air sign. So masculine does what needs to be done. Air will also communicate it very clearly and not shy away from saying, you are closed off from my resources. Every Libra placement. As we start week 42 on Monday the 14th of October with the sun being very prominent in Libra today. Because the sun is who we are, our vitality, our ego and how we approach situations in Libra. So how we approach our close and committed relationships. And close and committed relationships are also taking us under the loop. Have us on the radar. Because let's not forget, the south node is in Libra, so some people we need to cut off to grow and develop and go where we need to go. And it's just for the upcoming year, just for the upcoming year and a half, just for the upcoming six months, whatever. But we need to grow and develop and let others go. Instead of being that scorned woman like, oh, I didn't get this, I didn't deserve this, so whatever. That's the sun. The dominant phrase, I am in Libra, I balance things out because I need to grow and develop too. In opposition with Chiron moving retrograde in Aries. So Chiron is that wounded healer moving retrograde, so bringing things back from the past. Those wounds, those traumas, those insufficiencies we had in the past as Aries represents ourselves, our body, how we present ourselves in situations, how we approach situations. So with the sun in an opposition, Let's not forget that these close and committed relationships that we have around us who have seen us grow and develop are also the people who can read us for the filth that we are. Because everyone has something that is dislikable or that's likable. And sometimes we still need to grow, we still need to develop, we still need to evolve into our full being. In an opposition with Chiron moving retrograde, so in the past we may have done this, we were insufficient to do that, we may have said this. But it's those close and committed people who can trigger us. Because I remember I was in my healing era and my mom was like, you're not healed, you're triggered in one, two, <laughs> triggered. And I was like, girl. I am trying to cross a bridge over here and I'm going to let go of pulling your leg so I can cross it myself. I'm not going to burn it and in your own time you can cross it so we can stop triggering each other with this thing over here. And best believe in due time she followed and we're not triggered over here anymore and yeah burn the bridge I don't care. I got my people. I got my close and committed relationships but sometimes you need to let go in order to grow. Do whatever it is that you need to do. Because later in the day, the sun will be in a air trine with Jupiter moving retrograde in its detriment sign of Gemini. So air is very communicative, inventive, knowledgeable. Uh, let's talk about this. Let's, uh, let's think about this. As Jupiter expands in Gemini, our perception, our basic knowledge, our, uh, how we think about things, how we learn, how we communicate, but it makes it difficult as, it, as it's moving retrograde to feel joyful or excited or inspired because we're taking on new terrain, we're taking on broader terrain, we're, we're broadening our view, we're broadening our perception, we're broadening our mind. But yeah, it's those close and committed people who are going to say, oh, you're not like this, oh, you don't know how to do that. Well, it does bring a feeling of anxiety, doesn't it? 
I say cut it off, cut them off, cross that bridge uh, to people who don't know you yet because you deserve, remember, to start these new relationships and do not let other people stop you from going where you need to go. If you need to block them out, if you need to like go no contact, go no contact. It's not forever, maybe it is, but we'll find out when we cross that bridge. <laughs> my, my, my Nigerian mama always says that too. Either way. <laughs> Follow that feeling of anxiety as later in the day the sun will be in a cardinal square with Mars. So the sun would like to do things, would like to initiate these new personal relationships, but Mars is still in the feelings in its fallen sign of Cancer. So Mars likes to initiate, likes to act, likes to, or feels a little bit of ag a little bit of aggression, but it's all about those feelings. That feeling of anxiety, that feeling of in, uh, in, uh, in feeling inadequate, like you don't have enough yet, like you, uh, like maybe you you try to take some shortcuts, like maybe you didn't try to take on a mentor. Follow that feeling because it will lead you exactly to where you need to be and humble yourself. Okay, act on those feelings. Be humble enough to accept help. Because Mars in Cancer, and Cancer is that mother figure, that mother archetype, that motherly care. And we all need some care as we're going into some new terrains. And if I do so, so myself, I do it well. Either way, sometimes you need someone else. I need to, uh, to acknowledge that no one else can do for me what I can do for me. Until here and now, whatever. But sometimes you need to also acknowledge that someone else can do it for you. You need that new motherly care, but not from my mother. Because let's say I'm pregnant right now, but I'm in a fuss with my mother. So I don't want to talk to her, but she is my mentor. I want to look up to her. When I say it to her, it's like telling a muse, it's, it's your muse. They're starting, they're going to act. They're going to be all extra. And pff, my mama be so extra. Either way, <laughs> Leo placements. Either way, um, yeah, then don't say it. Be humble enough and just take your notes, just observe. But sometimes you need to be humble enough to tell someone outside of you, outside of the family that knows how to like be stable, hold your horses, don't be so extra. Like, um, I need your help. Can you help me? Can you guide me? Whatever. And if it's the right person, they will hold the right space. If, if it's the right space, you'll find the right person. <clears throat> Either way. Yeah, to take care of you. Follow your feelings. We'll talk about it. As later in the day, Venus will be in an opposition with Uranus moving retrograde. So Venus in its fallen sign of... Did I say what? Yeah, I said what I need to say. Venus in its fallen sign of Scorpio. So that's all about... Uh, Scorpio is all about the shared possession. So this is my sense of self-worth, but it also depends on how we are in this. So last week, I talked about this woman who had to be treated like filth. To go through an emotional process of building up a community but that community she has that emotional commitment uh, commitment with it she has this emotional commitment with the people that she's signing uh, the, that she's in business with that she has this contract with this spiritual contact uh, what well, contract with either way mm, yeah and it hurts to say this is my situation that's why i'm here it hurts to say this happened to me and that's why I need to do, uh, do it like th this right now. But the sooner we accept, because <laughs> everyone can see it, especially with that full moon in Scorpio and Taurus season, but uh, everyone can, uh, can see it, our, uh, our pain. We wear it on our sleeves. So yeah, just find the right people so you can... You can vent with the right people, so you don't have to wear it on your sleeve. You don't have to wear it like a, ma a mask all the time. Find that, those people you can find the uh, you can be emotionally committed with. You can have that common ground, that common that common cause with. So you can build and grow and invest over there. And the quicker you accept your defeat, your defect, your defeat, the quicker you can heal to a new. The quicker, uh, the quicker we can heal, accept what is, accept what is not, and like and see the wound for what it is, and bring it to the light. Bring it, uh, give it some air so, uh, so it can heal. Then stop being so stubborn. 
Because Uranus, uh, Uranus is all about the uh, humanitarian, but also the individual. It's about uh, community, but it's also about your own genius and your own inventions, how you feel about it, moving retrograde, so it's difficult to free ourselves from restrictive situations. In Taurus, I forgot, I not, never forgot, I didn't know, but uh, I don't write exalted placements for Uranus. And I don't write uh, fallen placements, but Uranus is apparently fallen in Taurus, as Taurus is fixed earth. It doesn't like to change, stable. Uh, I keep growing, I keep giving, I'm very fruitful. And Uranus over there, I don't know if, you, uh, if you've seen the props, but Uranus likes to change things, likes to switch things up, likes to move, move things around. And yeah, that's what's happening to the crops, actually. And we have a common we have a common cause when we're talking about the crops, aren't we? In an opposition with Uranus uh, moving retrograde in Taurus. Okay, you know what? I always come with this. Um, Uranus in uh, moving retrograde makes it difficult to free yourself from restricted situations. And I have always been this uh, fine-looking gal with wor weird information. Listen to this weird information, y'all. The end is nigh. On Monday or Tuesday, the Sahara flooded. I'm telling you, they said it in the Bible. It means the end is nigh. That's what's happening to our crops. I don't know. Like, if you feel it. Talk to me because we need to make plans. And I have had a plan. We'll eat a... The Sahara has flooded. The crops been moving, um, doing weird, all the GMO stuff and stuff. Find your people. Find the, uh, the people with whom you have a common cause to say, oh, we need to change things. We need to build a community. We need to reinvent, evolve this whole situation. As we're going off to Wednesday the 16th of October, when Venus will be in a water trine with Neptune in its home sign moving retrograde. So Venus in its fallen sign, again, that those common, th those common causes, those common waarden, gemene waarden. Values, those common values, Jesus. In a water trine, so wa water is uh, intuitive, water is healing, water is also nurturing. Let's nurture our feelings, Let, let's nurture our spirit. As Venus will be in that water trine with ne Neptune in its home sign of Pisces. Neptune, Pisces is all about oneness, it's all about unity and stuff. And what do they call it? Unity consciousness. I don't know if you're getting any goosebumps right now. I'm not getting any goosebumps because... <laughs> Either way, if you get in th that's unity consciousness, like I think, oh, there's no such thing as blame it on the a a a a alcohol. You invested in something or someone, and you felt a connection through spirit. Follow your spirit. Follow your feelings. Follow your intuitions. As Neptune moving retrograde, we don't see things clear. We don't see things objectively, but we can still feel. And if you feel it. <clears throat> As we're going off to Thursday, the 17th of uh, October, and we have the full moon in Aries on 24 degrees. And 24 degrees, again, is the Pisces degree. And Aries is all about you, yourself, your body, how you present yourself, uh, how you feel about presenting yourself in these close and committed relationships. Because at the beginning of the year, when we had the full, uh, full moon in Libra, we said, this is the year of the autonomy. This is what I am going to do, uh, and I'm going to lead by example. And with the full moon in Aries, it's the peak of the cycle. Are you actually happy with stepping into your hero role, into uh, into doing it yourself? Because you know, your, your spirit has been telling you, I, I have to do it myself. I have to step into my feelings. As this full moon in Aries is also ruled by Mars in its fallen sign of Cancer. Maybe you can see things clearly, maybe you can feel things, maybe you can hear things clearly, but the feelings, the senses, will never, ne ever doubt you. Like, maybe you have to rub your eye, but like, like a goosebump is goosebump. Puke is puke. Step into the feeling of how, step into the feeling, how do you feel about being your own hero? Is it good? Is it no bueno? Like, you can always, like, reassess, you can always, like, Make a plan. You can always strategize. If it makes you feel secure, 
do whatever you need to do to make yourself feel secure as later in the day venus will be in a feminine sextile with pluto moving direct in capricorn and i had so much to say about pluto in capricorn yeah, i'm going to do it the other time because we're almost at the 15 minute mark but the dedication to grow comes from inside because that dedication that common con that those common values in that feminine sextile with pluto pluto is about the tra transforming in capricorn our long-term goals what were the traditions the status quo you have to feel it on the inside first to be committed to uh, to the cause so how are you going to grow as later in the day because this will be happening on 29 degrees 29 degrees again leo degree fame creativity pride all those things but venus will be entering gemini and venus is that value your own value your and what you bring to the table what you bring to the skills what do you see what do you genuinely bring to the skill because you have to be genuinely dedicated to your growth libra sagittarius both masculine signs have a masculine sextile with each other what is that masculine sextile with each other that they're both very fair you have to put in the work if you want some you need if you want some you need to give some if you if you want to gain the status of being a mentor of being a teacher of being higher up you need to do what needs to be done lower up so don't wishy-washy don't go around things don't try to be sly with it do what you need to do because this opposition will always also be happening let me tell you this thing let me tell you this thing because i really want to tell you this thing so um as you can see scorpio season will start on tuesday the 22nd of october at 15 uh, 15 past 10 in the pm local amsterdam time but we always talk about the poster boy for scorpio which is drake but no one cares about drake <laughs> you know who's also scorpio he diddy of course and i told uh, i told you when pluto started moving retrograde in uh, in i don't know in may or something we talked a lot about drake but everyone kind of like forgot to think about diddy but i can only focus on one person at a time but the same things i said back then are for him right now when i was in my bed like shimon you did that did i not say pluto for uh for the scorpio is in the fourth house going back to the third house in the fourth house is about your comfort zone where you feel comfortable and it's weird it's not really accepted by the majority but that's what we're going to do but when pluto started moving back again i said it's kicking back all those last things down all the astrologers said it even ty phoenix said it so as it went back into Capricorn, literally in that, that was like 12th of September or something. So in those two, three weeks that Pluto shifted back retrograde into Capricorn, it literally kicked all those things down that Diddy learned like, oh, this is the third house, my basic knowledge. This is like the basic things that we do. This is how I think. But like Drake too, it all got destroyed. All those powerful people powerful uh pow um capricorn is the bosses the big uh, the big corporations and stuff and capricorn uh, and aquarius the new things we're going into is the small things the small people the small corporate corporation everything is going by itself just don't forget the sahara is flooding so the spring are coming the end is nigh <laughs>